Hey guys, so this was a requested topic from one of you guys, obviously, um, and it has to do with getting your CNA license or certification in different states. So I feel like this came from a comment that I made regarding having my national phlebotomy certification, my national um, certified clinical medical assistant certification, and I have my CNA in multiple states. So there is a process that you have to go through. Some states you can get your CNA certification in for free and others you have to pay for. Now, when I say you can get them for free, this is through the process called reciprocity. And the only reason why I am talking about reciprocity is because once you have your CNA certification in a certain state, um, you are able to get your CNA certification via the reciprocity process um, in multiple states. Now, depending on the level of CNA training that you went through, you may have an issue getting your certification via reciprocity in certain states. For example, certain states have different requirements for the amount of hours that a CNA training program needs to have, the amount of clinical hours, like when you're actually practicing your clinical skills, and um, certain topics covered in the CNA training program. I can't remember exactly which states um, have like way less requirements, but for example, I will tell you the states that I have my CNA certification in. I think I actually have the list, the full list on this little phone. Um, but I do have my, um, I have it in four states right now. I used to have it in five, but I let Pennsylvania lapse. So obviously the first state that I got my CNA certification in is Indiana. And then from there, I have Maine, Montana, and West Virginia currently. And that's because those are free states. So basically you just have to give them your information like there's an application you fill out and I am going to leave a link to this website where it will like literally link you to whatever page you need for the certain states it'll tell you how much it costs if you can apply online if you have to apply like by faxing them information because each state has their different requirements so the states that I currently have my certification in are free and I was able to do the applications online because I didn't have a printer. I currently don't have a printer, so I wasn't like trying to waste my time going to the library to print stuff off to mail applications out. So I took the easy way out and I did the ones that were for free and that could be submitted online. So like I said, currently I have my certification in four states. Pennsylvania was also free, I believe and um, Illinois right now is doing theirs for free, or at least the last time I checked they were, but you have to actually like print something out, sign it and mail it to them. Um, they're only doing it for free due to COVID because they need like qualified healthcare professionals to work in their state. Um, and I've thought about it because they're literally like, where I live, I live maybe 10 minutes from the Illinois border, so I don't live that far <laughs> and um, you know, there's a lot of job opportunities across the Illinois border. However, I would have to pay taxes in Illinois and Indiana, so I don't really want to do that, per se. Um, so anyways, enough of that. It's just basically the process of you going to the website, filling out your information, um, and then submitting the application once you give them all the documentation and everything. Sometimes you have to have your own state board of nursing fill out paperwork and send it to that state board of nursing. Um, it just kind of depends on the requirements for that state. And some of them you have to take the written test or the skills test. Some of them you can't do reciprocity. So like I said, when I leave that link in the description box, um, you guys will be able to see like the cost of getting your CNA certification in the different states the website that you go to because you can literally click on it most of the time and it'll take you right to it 
Um, the people who run this website are keeping it pretty well up to date. I haven't had any issues other than like one state and I think it was like Vermont or something and that link was broken when I went to click on it but there are a lot of states where you can get reciprocity and then you can work as a travel CNA. So for those of you who are interested in working as a travel CNA and getting a little bit more money for the work that you do it's definitely worth looking into. Like I said it is a process. Some states you have to wait longer than others. I think Maine I was on their registry within a couple weeks maybe less than that um, and I, every once in a while, um, Maine sends me an email about job opportunities that they have in their state. So that could be a state to look into. But like I said, that's how you kind of get started as a travel CNA is applying for your CNA certification via reciprocity. And you just kind of have to see, like it'll tell you the requirements on the application page that you need to meet. And it'll tell you if your state is one of the accepted states. So, like I said, it's definitely worth it. Like, even if you don't have money, it's worth it to apply for reciprocity in the free states. And, you know, as you are, have the financial capability to do so, you can add on other states moving forward. So, anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful. Please let me know if you guys have any other questions because I love to be able to help you guys as much as possible because... A lot of this information that I have shared with you guys, I have found on my own, like nobody helped me with it. And I've just spent so much time like researching the information for myself. And so I feel like if I'm able to cut down on the time that somebody has to spend researching information so that they can further themselves in their career, then it's worth it. So hopefully you guys have been finding my medical content and healthcare related content helpful. If there's any topics you guys would like me to talk about further in a video on my channel, I would definitely be open to doing so. If you have any questions, please let me know. Also keep track of the community tab on my YouTube channel because sometimes I ask questions there or I let you guys know like any announcements, etc, etc. So I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.